Good evening. Well, today is Friday, September 15th, 2023. Jump date for Monday the 18th. All right, let's go. Well, as far as no setups, no setups again tonight. I am seeing some potential shorts here. And they are also, as I've been saying quite a bit, energies could set up fairly soon. As far as the portfolio, we'll take a look at that in one second. Obviously, KBH helping us out a little bit. It's good. It's good when you have, you know, shorts can be a pain in the butt, as I often say. But it's good to have some on when the market begins to tank because sometimes that can help smooth out the equity. And that certainly helped a little bit today, them coming back into, uh, or this one coming back into the black column. This KGS keeps, KGS keeps catching my eye. It's an IPO. It could be really thin at times, although it did have like 3 million shares today. It could be super thin. It's just, there's something about it that I, that I think we should probably stay away from it. It's kind of hard to put my finger on. I mean, maybe it's just the fact that it's super thin or can be super thin in here. Also, it's quite a few days in the pullback. Sometimes I I let that pass on IPOs. So it's one of those things where it's just it's just not jumping out at me as a fantastic setup. And I can't exactly put my finger on it. Maybe the fact that it's thin uh, is one of those reasons. I know I'm being a little wishy-washy on that one. I just don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at first glance, it's one of those things when you first look at it, it's like super thrust and then it's retrace. It looks great. But it's just kind of all over the place in this pullback. So let's pass on that one. And the reason I showed it to you is just to show you what I'm seeing out there and, and why I'm not going after it. RDNT could set up fairly soon if it bounced a little bit in here. As you know, with a, with a transitional pattern, you go after the first bounce, even if it's not a huge bounce. But in this case, because it's, it's made a second leg lower, second tip uh, attempt lower, I prefer a little bit deeper retracement on that. Let's take a look at the portfolio, then we'll pop out obviously to the overall market and drill down to some sectors and such. KBH, a little bit of a slide there. We're just back in black by a little. Not enough to start kissing each other just yet though, but it sure looks like it could be in trouble. Once it moves a little bit more, or if it moves a little bit more in our favor, I guess I should say technically, once it moves more in our favor, or if it does, then we'll obviously cinch that stop down a little bit on that one. K&F getting whacked a little bit. Still looks okay, though. Kind of just consolidating at these higher levels. LFMD, Flatsville, still hanging around the top of its trading range and just not too far away from multi-year highs. So that's certainly a good thing there. You know, routine one day at a time. Let's take a look at the overall market and drill down to some action. Okay, S&P 500 getting whacked a little in here, down about a percent and a quarter. And this actually puts them right below, or back below, I should say, the bow tie moving average. is also well below the 50 simple moving average. And, you know, now's the time, and like I said last night, we're obviously still choppy in here. And when you have a market, yesterday it looked like it was off to the races. And that's why you don't want to get too excited too fast until you see some follow through, because now we're right back in. So something like Landry Light would be green, and then red, and then none, and then green, and now it would be, well, it's not red yet, but it would be back to none again. So that's chopping around. These bow ties should cross back over, so they're no longer going to be in uptrend proper order. Like I showed last night, I think we had how many days? We had eight or nine days of uptrend proper order, and then now that got negated today, or will get negated if we drop any further. And here's table of the dollar. Dollar kind of off a little bit, but it's been a pretty serious trend as of late, pretty much straight up as of late. Take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ getting whacked a little too. Same sort of thing as the P's. Also, like the P's, it does still have a bit of a topping formation to it. Would really have to take out this shoulder and ideally these highs, the July highs, as we discussed last night. And as one of you guys pointed out before, I would start getting too excited about the market. Take a look at the Rusty. Rusty got whacked a little bit, down about a percent. And, or down a percent and change. As you can see, still well below that 50 simple. And bow tie moving averages, downtrend proper order, and lots of Landry light below those moving averages. Energy is correcting a little bit. Not enough to get a setups just yet. They've been on a pretty good tear as of late. So, so far, so good there. We could see some setups fairly soon. Financials still look toppy in here. Selling off fairly hard today. Thwarted at the 50 simple. A little, little wide and loose and choppy, but still looks toppy. Nonetheless, defense, a little bit of a bounce recently in here, a little bit of a retrace, but so far still looks like it's in trouble. Lots and lots of overhead supply there. Manufacturing down a little today, still looks toppy in here. Embassy obviously getting whacked pretty hard. So far, it looks like a top remains in place there. Obviously, it needs to take out 800 
on this index for that to continue or obviously to, to kind of back up that top, so to speak. Let's take a look at the transports, pull it back a little bit in here. Still look questionable at best. Lots of support below, but certainly not a pretty market, as you can see. Take a look at software, getting whacked pretty hard in here. Again, this thing was kind of crawling higher, looking okay, and then bam, came right back in. So now is a market, based on this action and all the other action I just showed you, where you really want to wait for some sort of follow-through before getting too excited. Remember, I've been worried about the semis. Well, they got whacked today. Look at that, down nearly 3%, right, uh, closing right at these multi-month lows. So that's fairly ugly. Obviously, well below the moving averages in here. And then longer term, as I've been saying, a nausea. They bumped up against these prior highs. So we're kind of back into the ugly column. Big difference from today uh, versus yesterday. Yesterday, it looked like we were trying to turn back up. And then, nope, we turned right back down. So this is why we're in a wait-and-see market. Continue to keep an eye on things like Landry Light. I think that's going to keep you out of a lot of trouble. If you keep switching back and forth from red to green or stays red, obviously, you want to stay out of the way so maybe we'll see some setups and energies but i think that's probably going to be it for a while other than possible some shorts anyway i think that sums it up sorry i went long tonight just had a lot to get out maybe i should have rehearsed this one <laughs> anyway everybody have a great weekend i'll be checking it throughout the weekend on facebook if you need to reach me feel free to hit me up there again everybody have a great weekend we'll talk again on monday